Um, and let me just uh, let me just let me just go through one one um, one thing here um, on the choice that we all have to make. We all have to decide. We, we, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want to be free or do you want to be coddled? Do you want to be you want to be treated like a moron or do you want to be treated like an adult? If you want to be treated like an adult, you have to start acting like an adult. Um, we just we just we haven't finished yet, but we're pretty close to finishing the construction on the first floor of this uh, studio building. And we made it um, and designed it to be a different kind of workspace. And I'll show it to you here in the coming days on uh, television. But we've made it so there's not a lot of offices. Um, uh, you know, it's a common work area but we tried to make it really really fun and creative i mean we really tried to make it a you know our version of a google space where creative people come and say i want to work here this is cool it has a giant 35 foot submarine as the light over the main table that was used in uh, a movie that was up in the rafters of this movie studio um and then I went out and I happened to be, you know, buying some furniture for the place. And, and I happened to be in this place that had all of these carved wooden octopus. And I looked at that and I said to the guy who's the head of the Dream Labs, I said, that would be cool. Let's put that. Well, you, you're going to make the submarine into a light. Let's put the octopus around it. Let's put it in there and we'll make this whole thing a think tank. And uh, so we'll make it just really cool. All right, great. So we finish and we hang the octopus. And, uh, and Friday, as they're moving some final furniture in, one of the employees, and I don't mean to, uh, I don't mean to disparage this individual, and you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, um, but this uh, individual uh, came up and said, I, uh, you got to change the octopus. And Ben said, Why? Uh, they said, "Well, if you if you're if you're sitting here, uh, you know, it's you're standing here and you're looking over somebody's shoulder or you, whatever. I mean, it's right at eye level. You could put an eye out with one of those tentacles." That's right, Jeffy. I look, I just wanted to talk to Ben about it because it I know. looked dangerous. Jeffy, <laughs> no. Here's what I said. I said, Ben, what did you say to that? And he said, I said, well, I would talk to you about it and take it into consideration. And I said. No, here's how you answer that from here on out. I didn't realize Glenn was in the habit of hiring morons. Yes, Jeffy, you are the exception. Mm -hmm. But we we didn't hire morons. If you're such... I mean, I stood there at the octopus. These wooden tentacles come down. And I'm standing there at the tentacles of the octopus. And yes, they are at eye length, Mm -hmm. at eye height. But let me tell you something. Nobody's standing that close to the octopus. If you are, what are you what are you doing? Are you licking their little their little suction cups? What are you doing? And beyond that, in the real world, you go shouldn't stand so close to the octopus. I just, I guess I should have seen. I guess I should have seen the giant wooden octopi. I know it's actually octopus, but it doesn't sound right. The giant, all these octopus. Hanging from the ceiling. I guess I should have seen that. And in the real world, you go, geez, I'm a moron. And you don't do it again. My point of telling this story is, are we a group of... dangerous, though. Yeah, I know, aren't they? Uh, Are we a group of... You almost have to get up on the desk to get your eye poked out by one of the technicals. You're just looking at the the video. Yeah, we're we're looking at the... Picture we, we got a picture, and you know, you see it as you walk by. And I, I actually had the thought myself, and I thought, well, you'd almost have to get on top to have anything. Yeah. Okay. So those are artist tables. Those are drafting tables for you know, mm-hmm. if the artists want to go over and use a drafting table, so you can go use a drafting table. You really do have to put the. You have to get up on the stool and, and then, kind of swing into it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to jam my eye into a tentacle. Yeah, it's almost what you have to do. And I'm going to stand on a stool, and I'm right. going to thrust my head toward the octopus tentacle. And it's not like okay, it's they're, they're hanging on they're hanging on a rope, <laughs> so they're Stupid. hanging on a rope. So unless somebody has started them all <laughs> swinging at you, it and would just move out of the way. It's on a rope, for the love of Pete. So anyway, <laughs> we all have to decide, and I don't mean this. This is not just a monologue about us here in this building. 
This is a, a, a monologue for all of Americans. Are you a moron? Because if you're a moron, we should listen to the people that believe in evolution and let your tail fall off the butt of the rest of us. Because you are the tail on our monkey. Fall off. If you're a moron, look, if, if, you, are, if, you, are, if you have some mental handicap, I understand that. I get that. If you are... If you are somebody with, you know, a physical handicap, I get that. If you're a moron, get out. People want, and, and it's amazing how people are playing police now. Everybody's playing the police. Well, is that safe? I don't know. Do you know, there's like nobody on the Indian side of the Grand Canyon that ever falls off the cliff. You know that? They don't have a fence they don't have a guardrail. If you've ever been to the Indian side, on the American side, oh, it's like 50 feet before there's a cliff. Warning, warning, giant hole in the earth. Warning, warning. And then they have the, and what happens? People fall off that side. But where you're left to not be stupid, people don't fall. Because nobody gets close enough it's like the NFL. The more padding you put on, the more reckless you're going to become this, because you think you're safe. We're not going to leave razor blades on the floor, knowingly, but there might be razor blades on the floor. Don't be a moron. Look where you're walking. Look where you're working. Look what you're doing. Am I the only one? Can we not have some sort of personal responsibility in our lives? I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to have everything made safety for me. My gosh, think of our childhood. We all survived somehow or another. We all survived. Remember the time when they didn't even put seatbelts in the cars? I mean, somehow, we somehow we lived. It. Now, we live. now, if you're just not wearing your seatbelt, you're, you're in trouble. In trouble. Yeah. This is why I told Ben not to say anything to you when I first complained because I wanted to get to you first. I knew that I just needed to take another tack. I'm going to come over. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, you know, like those little swinging balls that you, you know, you swing one and it goes, pew, 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 pew. you know, those, uh, those yeah. things that I don't know who has them on their desk, but um, I'm going to try that with the octopus, but I want you on the other side. I'm going to start one swinging, and I want it just to jam right through your chest. That doesn't, doesn't sound safe. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's not. Our sponsor.